Well, Craig Herrera is joining us now, tracking the weather. We were hoping for a little oh. more sun, but at least it sounds like the warm weather is going to be here, too. Yeah, I know. Remember at the beginning of the week, I had a 62 on the map, and mm -hmm. it's going, doom, 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 doom. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I know. The clouds are coming through. Yeah, we'll still manage some mid-50s tomorrow. Mark, Jessica, and then after that, Sunday's going to be very interesting around here. We have a lot of rain to talk about, mountain snow and the possibility of some thunderstorms. So let me break it down this way when we look at the weather headlines. High, thin, wispy clouds for a good part of the day tomorrow, so we'll call it filtered sunshine. The rain, the wind, the mountain snow, it all picks up on Sunday. Again, isolated thunderstorms possible in the mix on Sunday afternoon. And we're not stopping there. Spotty lowland snow Monday morning. Can you believe it? All right, so I blame La Nina still sticking around. We still have uh, high temperatures today into the low to mid 50s. Uh, temperatures right now from some of the school net reporting sites. Ferndale at 46, Darrington 43, Bellevue 48, over to Clee Ellen 42, Aberdeen 46, Centralia 43 for you and Clellan Bay 45. We do have this area of high pressure. Normally when we talk high pressure, it gets pretty strong. It gives us plenty of sunshine. Well, this one is not turning out to be quite as strong as it looked earlier, which is why we're going to see a whole lot of cloud cover tomorrow. Well, let's pause a moment with Craig. Look at Squeaker. Squeaker is looking at some friends out there. Look at the deer who's looking out the window. Isn't that so funny? I love that shot. You can send me your photos, email them, or you can use the hashtag K5Pets on social media, and I'm looking for them constantly. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. Those high, thin clouds will keep us in the mid-50s as opposed to those low 60s I had earlier in the, in the week when I was talking about the seven-day forecast. Here's Futurecast. Notice uh, we've got a whole lot of gray over western Washington. Maybe some drizzle along the coast, a little mist everywhere else. By 12 o'clock, we continue with clouds and then by the evening maybe a couple of raindrops getting squeezed out of one of those systems passing up to the north i don't think it'll amount too much but you might get a couple of raindrops on your head and it'll pass overhead on sunday morning the front starts to move through and i think the heaviest rain with the front comes through between 12 and 6 that's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Here's 6 in the afternoon. The backside is sliding out, but it still has some moisture with it, so we're still going to have some scattered showers and all those shades of red that you see there, the chance for those thunderstorms. Winter storm watch is in place Saturday night through Sunday night for the Cascades of Skagit, Whatcom County, for the Cascades from Snohomish County to the south. Winter weather advisory up to 12 inches of fresh snow and, of course, some gusty winds. Here's your seven-day forecast. So after we get through that system on Sunday, Mark and Jessica on Monday morning, a shot of cold air moves in and gives us a chance to see some snow mixed in with the rain. I don't think it will amount to much, but I don't want you to get caught off guard on Monday morning for that morning commute. When you it see better not amount to much. I know, right? Exactly. You know where I live. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. You got it. <laughs>